All right, so first we need to figure out a basic stall, right? So stalls aren't about stopping the nunchuck dead in his tracks. I know it looks like that, but that's gonna be counterproductive if you're focusing on that. So what you wanna do is you wanna stop your hand. Because there's a rope chain here, this one's gonna continue to move a little bit. And it's gonna give you that little bit of push that almost forces your hand up. That's perfectly fine. Allow your hand to come up until this is nice and taut and it starts to fall back down. At that point, I'm gonna to start to pull back down my right hand here to keep this chain or rope tight. And I'm gonna pull right back to my right hip. So right hand is gonna start at the right hip, gonna to come to our left elbow, stall up, and then bring it back down to my right hip. Stall, back down. So I'm still gonna act like I have another set in this hand. So I'm gonna keep my arm up here for two reasons. A, because that's exactly where your arm's gonna be to do the downward stall. And B, we have something there to block our face just in case it does come back. So we're gonna stall around the corner of my elbow here, but I wanna get used to stalling and then coming back. And so I'm gonna keep this one out in front of me and I'm gonna stall up under that elbow and bring it back down. And as it comes back down, I'm just gonna circle my arm around and stall downwards. There's really not much to it. You are just letting gravity do the work. But I do want to reverse that back and pull back into my upward stall. So basically, we're just going to keep doing this back and forth. All right. So now that we've got our dominant hand down, now let's work on the opposite hand. So as I do my upward stall, I'm going to turn my hands over in the same direction. So upward stall, it comes back to the top while this one circles around underneath that elbow. And then back. So we're just rocking our hands from side to side. Now, to collapse these, as we come from our second stall here, I'm gonna pivot 90 degrees, face the side, come out like a strike so just up over that shoulder down to this hip and this one is going to come just straight out in front of me into a collapse 